probably drive a mad had a part the fuck the bottom Yo, 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 welcome to the Wildcast Podcast. It's Johnny Trombone coming at you live. We in the studio right now. It's with a you, what up? Oh, I already fucked that up. <laughs> but we're going to keep this thing going because keep it rolling. that's how we do. We keep it flowing, man. We got stick duffels in the motherfucker. How y'all doing? We got a full house today. It's a blessing. Big house today, yes, sir. What's going on? It's Andy Bronx. Came over here to show some love to the Wildcast Podcast. Appreciate that. Shout out Beardy Society out there in North Carolina putting in the work, man. Mm-hmm. We got the big dogs in the motherfucking building, man. We got BT right here, man. BT, BT, BT. man. What's happening? What's going on? Yeah. You know. Appreciate you, man. I know the big dog came and brought you through. Yeah, for Nico sure. Nico Valley. Right. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for Appreciate having. you showing me love, man. Coming through. Yeah, showing sure. love with the boys. We got 84N Media running the production right now. We was doing some crazy shit, setting up these mics and shit. You don't know half of the shit we got going shit on. Shit ain't easy. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? All that too. Yeah, right? Yeah, but if you want to check out what was going on behind the scenes, just go on Nico Velli's Instagram. He just had the live out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we out here in the building, man. How do y'all boys know each other? It's my brother. Blood brother. Okay. That's my big brother. Same, yeah. same, same daddy. DT, that's what's up. So what does DT stand for? It's like my first name. It's like... Yeah. Half of my first name, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Came up with that, but somebody really came up with that on some football shit, called me D-Train, but it just shortened D-train. up the DT. You know. What position do you play? Running back. That's what's up. You yeah. play running back as well, right? Mm-hmm. How'd you play? Safety. Safety? Safety? Yeah. Hey, okay. Hey, did you guys ever play together? Like coming up, did you? No. You know, little D, like, yeah. little D, real, but a little bit little D, not much. Yeah. Yeah, but like, always, because I'm like, he I'm older than me, so he was a little bigger boy. Older, older and I only got put up, I only got brought up with them because I was fast. Yeah. But they only got down the head. You know, y'all could put me back while I was down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> I was like, I'm a kid. Yeah. 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 11, 12, 14, 13, he playing with 135, supposed to be on 100 pounds, 110. They got yeah. me practicing with him. Uh oh. Well, that's what y'all went to. I went to South Plantation. So y'all grew up around here, Fort Lauderdale area? Yeah, I went to St. Thomas. Nice. Nah, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Okay. So, how do you feel like the difference is, like, St. Thomas? You, did you go ever go to a public school? Nah. I mean, like elementary. High school? High school? Elementary. Nah, nah. For, nah uh, St. Thomas, I went to all four years. Yeah. Yeah, that's lit. Fucking all them white hoes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure. That shit was. Hey, DJ. Sure. <laughs> hey, nah, 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 man. But nah, for sure. That shit was lit, though. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, what year you graduated? 2015. 2015. I'm trying yeah. to think who was there. Young cats. Uh, Joey Bosa, was he there? Uh, nah, he left. He <laughs> left. Brother, he left my sophomore year. I played with both of them. My, my sophomore year, I had both of them on my team. Yeah, Nick was a freshman, Joey was a senior. That shit was good. Yeah, that's what it was for. That shit was cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but y'all had some shit out there too, though. Y'all had Ops, Long Live My Boy, Alex Collins. Y'all yeah. had him. Yeah. Y'all had John Franklin. Robbie. Robbie, Robbie Anderson. Y'all boys had some shit yeah, out there too. Chosen. Chosen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Hanging out. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Fucking, bro, so how do you feel the void that football left in your heart? I always, I ain't, I'm gonna be honest with you, from always I was like, I could keep like the same lifestyle, do the same thing, nothing. Routine, too, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm cool. Yeah. I feel so, like, yeah. So to me, it's like, all right, let's say you're in the league, you just love practice, you're gonna go out and eat with your boys. I was probably at the studio or wherever I was at. Let's go to the club real quick. I'm in the section. I know you, you're gonna come to my section. We hanging out. You in the NFL, though I'm not, but I played football. I'm cool. Yeah. yeah. You with me, we chilling. Yeah. I'm good, I don't have to make it. Yeah. Yeah. I got money. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, got, I made it money. Yeah. I made it. So you wanna be on a schedule making money? You don't even gotta be on the schedule. As long as yeah. the money up, and like everybody around me good, yeah. I'm good to go. I made it. I'm straight. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. Okay. That's definitely what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. The reason I was asking, bro, because I I had trouble like filling that void. You know what I'm saying? See, and I was like, 
I made that transition into yeah. like media and well, shit. You know what well, well, honestly, at first it was. You know, it's older. Damn, it's older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Over, Some are told at 18. And then, like, when that season rolled in, and you see everybody like get ready and ball cap and all this, and you got the crib. Just chilling. Uh, see, see, but not, see, I ain't gonna lie, my shit was a little easier though, because I broke my leg like my sophomore year. Yeah. So, like, so, right yeah. there, I was just like already out the gate. Like, I, I was training to go, you know what I'm saying, get back, right shit back at the same time. I was already doing shit on the back end, make sure I'm straight with it, like, money wise. Shit like that for my family, like you said. So like, yeah. I wasn't even really like tripping for real. Like I was tripping, cause you know when I came in my, you know, it was that COVID shit. So all my camps and shit got canceled. But yeah, I was already scraped. He trying to escape pressure. Though. <laughs> I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about him. He trying to escape pressure. Yeah, like he ain't go to my school. Yeah. Like, I didn't see them. Yeah, stay calm under yeah. pressure. Yeah, they went to my school. I seen them. Yeah, yeah. 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 They got the yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I was a freshman out there. They had the litters here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, but you guys seeing you was very good too. Seeing you, y'all you know, seen. Because uh, we did what we wanted to do. Yeah. What was your record? Definitely matter. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, we had scholarships. We, yeah, had, yeah, like, we had like They had like a lot of players going off of, uh, college and shit. I think we had the most, ain't it? We had the most, yeah. right? More than 2013. Fuck yeah. yeah, we had a whole, yeah, everybody went. We yeah. already had grades on that team. Yeah, <laughs> I, thought, I thought 2013 was the most. I mean, well, so if, it were, if it wasn't for their class, though, we wouldn't get the looks that we get that yeah, we get they, now. They put the, we got, yeah, steps sure. in. It's yeah. like they, they put the eyes on us, and then we just kept it going. For sure. Fucking uh, Buddha was telling us, he came on a podcast one time, he was oh. telling us that um, the reason why he decommitted from Miami is junior year. Mm-hmm. Was because scouts stopped coming to the practice and shit. For real? Yeah, and fucking, he was like, I wanted to give my teammates a look. So I was right. like, damn, that's a real ass shit. Yeah. And then, that's real. you know, he went to the other campuses. And mm-hmm. He was probably like, yeah, this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I love that. I'm, I love that. That's yeah. real. So, so like, how did you meet him? Yeah. How'd you guys uh, so, connect? Oh, network? Network? yeah. Um, yeah. See, you don't know, but I know a little bit. Or RP Alex was sitting in my um, BMW. I, I had a beam at the time. I was literally listening to music. That's when he told me I was good. X, Y, and Z. He liked the music. I need to own. Um, him and Jay, he was telling me how I need to come up with videos and content and yeah. everything like that. Shout out Jay. And then, yeah, yeah, shout out Jay. That's sure. Who cut that shit. And then Jay told me that I need to link up with Buddha because he be doing all type of you know, other stuff. So. I yeah. got his number, was, I was talking, I got his phone number. The last time we talked, it was in Tampa. I think he was at a wedding or something. I don't remember where it was at. I yeah, John, was Showtime. Yeah, something like that. I didn't know he was in Tampa. And then that was that. And then, you know, all that stuff that happened. But they was telling me to come do the podcast. You do all the X, Y, the podcast. Yeah. I remember he was talking about the studio at the Airbnb. I remember all of that. But. I ain't go to the, I ain't go to the, I ain't pull up to put a, a studio session. Shut up, bro. I want to sleep, man. Yeah. It's like, he's, yeah. he's talking to me and I'm already asleep. Ah. So I was like, all right, yeah, I got to just continue my own little nap. I yeah, thought about it. He was hitting up a lot of artists, like, yo, pull up, pull, pull up on me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some artists pulled up, you know, shout out to them. And they, they got some work in and shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, fucking, but the last time, I don't know if you want me to say, you can say last time I was always in the club. Yeah, so yeah, last the time we're, we're, uh, I yeah, saw him again. And I, yeah, then I was like, yo, I, was like, yo, I kind of remember this kid because you have long hair. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I think I know this kid. And then he was like, I went to South. Yeah, and sure. I was like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? And fucking, it started clicking and stuff. But we was in the, in a strip club. You know, I'm was pulling up to, to go fuck with yeah, J.E. Yeah. And he's like, it's my boy Nico. And I was just like, oh, it was good. And then I see him, and then you were like, oh, I, I think I remember you from South. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. And I was like in his ear, like, like, yo, bro, you, you're coming to my podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you took initiative and came on. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, bro, we got a studio and everything, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm fucking I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm like one of the people. Coming. Were you making music in high school, too, or is this, you know? I yeah, how did, how did that start? A couple months ago, my first song I ever recorded. Is what y'all put on the thing saying we got people better, y'all got that song. <laughs> yeah. I really do admit, like you said, we sitting right here. Yeah. All right, let's see. You the producer, and uh, y'all press play on the thing, press record. I'm record, I'm right here. Sit down, smoking, rapping. 
After that was over with, I really moved the mic, kicked back, grabbed the trouble, played the game, and went to sleep. I was in the crib. So, so it was like... Buddy dropped that for you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. that's why I was like, y'all found that? Like, y'all got it. When yeah, I heard it, I turned it up. That's, that's funny. Like, this is my first song. It was song. on Instagram music, and I was like, oh, shit. This is my first song Instagram music? Yeah. That's the first song I ever made. Wow. That's what's up. It like stops like abruptly though, like at the yeah, end. Yeah, because I, I, like I, it wasn't for real. Exactly okay, what you explained. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. The beat plan is not the beat I'm supposed to record on, but it's on. Yeah. So I'm just freestyling while it's going. So they just caught that. So you just caught like a just off air freestyle because yeah. the beat plan and they were trying to get it right, but the beat was stuck playing over. But when I started rapping, it recorded, it saved it. So yeah. They kept it. That's what's up. Nah, I guess they put it out. That's why I was like, when I heard it, I couldn't help but laugh, like, wow. Yeah. That creepy. I ain't gonna lie, at first I was like, that guy's a little weird. They don't found that shit. <laughs> I made that shit almost two years ago. It's like, That's I made that up. song, and then I, I ain't make nothing else no more. Yeah. Like, dude, nothing else. I just made that just black like, bullshit around. Right? Because y'all wasn't in the studio for me. I was told to pull up. If I don't want to go with it. He was just vibing. Yeah. That's what's up. R.I.P. Yeah, for sure. Fucking, so, uh, have you guys ever recorded together? Yeah. Yeah. Adult. We got a couple songs together. Yeah? yeah. What do y'all, when y'all gonna drop? We gonna drop them? Yeah. What? I'm, we got, I'm, I'm gonna do this for you. We gonna let y'all listen to them, right? Yeah. And then y'all let us know. Let us know. Man. All right, let's do a live session right here. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna put me spot right there? Nah, nah, we'll, we'll do it after. We'll do it after. <laughs> okay. I know it's lit. So okay. you guys go like, <clears throat> when you guys record, you guys kind of like, trying to go harder than the other ones? Yeah, yeah I so do. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, 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 I, yes, I, yes See, I do. Yes, I do. When I come right here, yes, I do. I got to. I, I, yeah, I, I, I ain't going to lie. I, I want to do great, and I want to be amazing. But I got to go harder. I ain't going to I heard him come on the song one time. And then, like when I came on the song, I like I just knew I came hard because like, it, but it made me come so hard because like what he was saying, like at the first beginning of the season. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, he told me you were all this nigga here, bro. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> about, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's oh, what's up. So y'all yeah. feeding off that competitive nation. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to be honest, though. See, it'd be cool because it's like, <laughs> you being up, yeah. I, I lay down my verse, whatnot. And then he'll go, and I'll be sitting there listening to it. And I'll just be like, oh, I need to go black. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. And then he'll come out and he, bro, I had to go hard because you, you were bunkers. And I'm like, I'm going to throw this shit in garbage. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 for real. Like, damn, but you know, I got to put out, even if brother do, do go hard, I got to put yeah. that shit on hard. So you have a song in mind that y'all want to drop, like, together? Like, what's one that comes to your head, that, like, the name of it? Turbulence. Tur <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. for sure. Turbulence. Wildcast Podcast presents Turbulence. For sure. Turbulence, Turbulence real. I like Michael that Valley one. and BT. Yes. What, what's your whole... Uh, Stage name, like, where can they find you? Shit. I got some shit on Apple Music, NBL, DT. You know How you say it? NBL, DT. NBL, DT. Like, yeah, I got it on my chain. Never betray loyalty, that was NBL, man. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Stand on that. Yeah, yeah I, for I, sure. I respect that. So that's, that's like the, you know what I'm saying? You got to have, like, the, like, the click. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It's not a gang. It's a, it's a, we're, we're, we're yeah. a music group. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. So how, how, what does that mean to you? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. That word loyalty really mean like everything. Like everybody keep it like, you know, like, but I love you, bro, I love you. But I still do some crazy shit too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That loyalty shit, that what it is. Like, that's, that's what it's about. That would have got me and him so close. Even me and my other brothers, you know, my other brother BJ, he got some shit called um, loyalty rules, everything, LRE. That's another one, that's my brother. And then my brother Pat, just my, everything just loyalty. Like, yeah. I got people that's blood to me, like blood, blood. Like, I don't fuck with it. It's love. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't no loyalty, man. Like, I can't fuck with you. It's funny because it's like that. It's like that. Real blood that you just gotta cut off because you just like, how the fuck could you do? Like, but I got somebody that I just met, like, 
two years ago, that ain't never even thought about trying me like this, but you just tried me like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you family, though, like, that shit really be hurting, though, but it's like, it is what it is, but fuck it. I love you, but Somebody you just meet can show you more love than somebody you know in your whole life, bro. Well, I swear. You know I learned that in college. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that's that's college. exactly why I learned that yeah. shit at college. That's how how that did you learn that? What was the experience on that? Um, like just networking, meeting new people. Yeah. And the stuff that they telling me about, explaining to me, talking to me about, letting me know that they don't even have to let me know. Mm-hmm. And like the everyday and so on, so on. Like I just met you. Yeah. You would you would day two thousand, you know what I'm saying? Like I just met you. But the stuff I've been talking to, you would say at day zero about I, I get a negative reaction and this person is telling me A through Z. You know what I'm saying? How to do it. Man. Everything. Oh, Only asked for A, B, and C. They went all the way to Z for me. Yeah. Don't even know this person. Wow. You get what I'm saying? So I learned I learned that I learned that in school. I was that was pretty good. For sure. Yeah. For what sure. you go to college for? Business entrepreneurship and psychology. Oh, nice. You minor in psychology? Oh, so you minor in psychology? That's my minor, yeah. Oh, okay, nice. I ain't like it though. <laughs> really? You gotta sit there. You gotta go through really? the question. <laughs> nah, you have to get comfortable yeah. with being uncomfortable. uncomfortable asking sure. uncomfortable questions. So let's practice it right now. <laughs> How you get today? How I did today? How you get today? How are you today? How you did today? How do you think you performed today? I had a very productive day. I'm really? gonna tell you why. Recently, I used to uh, have my days planned. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because again, going back to that question, you're saying, how do you fill that void in football? Mm-hmm. And I always used to be on a schedule, five, you know, 5 a.m. workouts, you know what I'm saying? Eat at nine, you know, class at whatever, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then now I do that to myself, you know, 5 a.m. workouts. You know, maybe I might um, Instagram interact, you know, with, with the Wildcast, Adversity Killers accounts and shit with different shit, just to build the engagements and shit like that. So what I did today was I had that same list and I checked off every fucking thing on that shit. So I did really well. And now we got Nico Veli and DT on the pod. We got the boys out here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice new microphones and shit. Yeah, I think I did fucking amazing today. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you want the fan so might take you out a little bit after this? Yeah. Oh, so it's like you gonna finish tonight. That's how we gonna finish tonight. Finish tonight, yeah. Fuck so you for sure. So you did good today. So how do you feel? I feel relieved, and I feel like very, I feel very thankful, bro. Yeah. Because maybe just like three days ago, I was thinking like, fuck, man, like a lot of shit going on and all this shit and fucking. But I'm like, bro, a lot of shit's going on because a lot of shit is going on. Life, 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 what we're doing, you know what I mean? It, it feels good to be out here doing that shit. But yeah, man. So I come to the studio. Yes, sir. We can do that for sure. We got, we got a. Yes, man. Nah, we good. We nah, we good. good. We're gonna, you know, What's up, we're gonna cut back in. I was just kind of like, what the fuck? You can come in. Hello. <clears throat> yeah. Welcome. Welcome to a wild pass podcast. Yeah, you're live right now. Yeah. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <right. laughs> yeah. Come back. Come back. Mm-hmm. Over there. No, we're good. So yeah, fucking um, how what what's the question you're gonna ask me? To start it out, cause this cause we're gonna cut when she answers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, after I finish. Well, oh, I can ask you how you did, how you um, as how you did. Yeah. How you doing today? Yeah. So to continue elaborating on that, mm-hmm. um, I feel like I did very good, and I feel thankful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for, sure. for for all the shit that I, you know, because before I was, I feel like I was like wasting time and shit. Yeah. Now it's like, gotcha. yeah, it's good. Progressing. Yeah, progressing. Getting better, for sure. Yeah. Like I, so you put space, yourself right? back on yeah, that schedule. Yeah, you're in a good like space. Like, so. like girl, I was watching this thing about numerology, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I follow Christ, you know what I'm saying? I fear God. But, like, learning about that shit is interesting. It's about numbers, like, and your birthday and all that shit. And my good luck year was 2019. In 2019, I had a great year, but I was focused on a woman that, like, I sh- I, all that focus I put on that, I could have put on something else, you know what I'm saying? 
and fucking that was like my good luck year. So now I feel like that year that I was supposed to have, I'm having it this year. You know, that's that, real. That little shit, I, it it set me back. You yeah, feel me? For sure. A couple of years and shit, and fucking yeah. Now we're where we need to be. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't even like to trip. But I was like, bro, like shit, definitely get greater later. Yeah, but I'm definitely an in the moment type of dude. Like if something's not working, like fuck, like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but like, I'll definitely like, all right, give me a second and I'll. Right. Yeah, that. I think oh. I, 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 I think that's everybody though. Yeah, I let shit play out. Yeah, I let it play out, and then when it's over with. I don't got to say I told you because you watched it. Man, exactly. I watched it crash. Yeah. Like, I said something before it did that. And yeah. it's like, oh, it failed. I told you when you was building that shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you was making it, that shit was crazy. Then when it failed, you're like, oh, it failed. Don't well, tell me about it. I told you it was crazy, man. We was building it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, shit be what it is. That shit will fall, ain't nothing to rebuild it. Facts. Damn, bro. So That's how I take it. Enough the uncomfortable question to, to ask y'all is fucking what's stopping y'all from dropping y'all song together? Me, I be bullshit. They uncomfortable. I have to be honest. I be bullshit. It was sloppy. Yeah. I'll stop. It ain't, it don't even what, be what's that. stopping you though? Like like slapping me, how? I'm stopping myself. Ain't ain't nobody in my From what? From dropping. Yeah, it's like most like, of the studio. I got like I said, I got a studio book for right now. Yeah. Pay for it and everything. Yeah. It's like a fifty fifty that I cook. Wow. Still a fit. <laughs> it's a fit. We live in Dallas yeah. studio session, bro, right after this. Right okay. Here. Okay. That's what's up. Something fit, fit, fit. But see, they don't got nothing to do with nobody. So, what are some of the things that stop you? I might be on the way there and not feel like one of them. Yeah, I feel you. Wow. So, I'd be in there, listening to the beats, listening to the music. I just be like, all right, bro. I'm just. <laughs> roll a whole joint. I'm nah, fuck with you, bro. I'm going. I ain't comfortable. I ain't comfortable. I'm out of here. You think you think smoking weed helps you or doesn't like see we we only do for when it comes to record or like I'm chilling in the house and go to sleep. If I'm out and about doing something happy business, I ain't gonna smoke, I'm gonna be lazy, I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. We don't really it just put me it just put me in a in a, like a better like a, at ease feeling. Yeah. So now I'm comfortable. So now, um, you know, you hide, you think of a million things at one time about trying. So when the beat playing, and I probably got a sentence of words, I probably can cost a thousand <laughs> words to put right in. But when I when I write, I probably write like I say four or five lines. If I punch in from that, I just need something to go off of. Yeah. That's what I did. That's what's up. Yeah. What's your process like? You just punch in, or do you have some stuff written? Man, I ain't gonna lie, roll me a joint and get behind that mic. Keep <laughs> I just punch in and just see how I feel behind that shit. I don't you know, know what nothing. Funny, though, right. Not to cut him off, cause like he, he punch in for real. But I know when I said some shit, cause he grabbed his phone. Like we were in the studio, and I said something, I'd be like, all right, bro, it's your turn. And he gets up, like, stand back. And then he get one of these, you you're working now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so fucking, y'all could definitely get those competitive juices flowing tonight. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Oh no, for sure. I, I'm, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We be, you definitely be competing like that. That shit be like, yeah. on some like, damn, did you really just say that? Like, oh shit. Yeah. They're like, did you tripping on that mic right now? Like, it's, you got too much going on right now. Shit. You gotta chill. Yeah. <laughs> Rapping, you hear it. You just, but then, like, like but then it's like, but then it's I'm like, I'm in with you. All right, we'll make you some it. shit that he say, it's, it's like some shit he say, and some shit that I say, it's like, you listen to it, you be like, damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> we really don't went through that shit for real. Like, everything that we say on that shit. <laughs> Like shit, real life. Like, Do you feel like that like, caught me off guard though? That's fucked up. Yeah, shit, real life though. Like, it's real. Kill the bitch in her son. No, I'm fucking around. I don't want to do that. So you feel like you're rapping? Yeah, I don't know. You feel like you rapping or freestyling as like a form of therapy for yourself? I, um, I, I, at times. 
at times for sure, like, especially when, you know, like everybody be having shit going behind, you know what I'm saying, with the family closed doors, you know, like, every time I just be like, all right, man, y'all leave me fuck alone now. Call the studio, man, bitch. Where you at? Go right to the studio, just put some shit down, yeah. say some shit. Like, that was the first thing. Right, that'd just be like, sometimes just get away from all that crazy ass yelling and all the other shit that you got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really, so it is kind of It's a whole other world in yeah. the studio. Yeah. It's just like football, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you on that field, whatever the fuck you got going on outside of that field, it does not matter until you do it. Like, outside you know, outside you know, I, I got to focus on this right now, you know what I'm saying? I can't. Yeah. I don't know what's going on down there. I don't even know what flow we on. That shit high as hell. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know what's going on down there, you know? So, yeah. Nah, yeah. yeah shit over with. I go in the studio. When I'm actually in there and I'm rapping, I'm making the music. I can't, I don't have nothing else to focus on because I'm like, music playing right now. They're recording right now. Your time right now. I got a rap right now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like worry about something else. I, I got to block it up right now, so I can do the post. That's how that is. So you gotta go. Yeah. Stop you. Yeah. We always a form of therapy also for yourself. You pretty much kind of like stopping yourself and helping yourself. You know? Yeah. I like the purse up too. I ain't gonna lie. I like the purse. I don't even walk through the street like the artist. You got artists they pushing and shoving everybody out the way. Like, he might have a little chick try to talk to she dirty, yeah. and you know, they done, done push her legs off. <laughs> push her legs off. <laughs> now they got to do it. Right. So now you know they probably looking like, well, who the hell are you trying to get through? And they see this. Like, like, yeah, well, like in the studio, like, it's packed like that? No studio? No, it's fine. No, I had clothes and shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Shove your yeah, shove bitches out of the way for us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all, boy. Y'all gonna get out of the way, bitch. Like, fucking. Okay, I'm kind of scared of though. Yeah. If, if this, like, do like take off and do yeah, something. Yeah, I want to take off. How everybody else around me would fall out of the Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? No, I like Hollywood. Right. Yeah, not even Hollywood. No. Like, they'll tell me, I'm, they'll, they will tell me that I'll be in Hollywood for days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, everybody around me, not not family. I ain't worried about them. Like, the close ones that you just take off, you straight. You know, screw. But I'm talking about, like, you know, the ones you cool with. Once you wouldn't think this would happen, you know stuff like that won't happen. Like you like money will change. Yes, it is. You got you want a chance. Why you want you some money? You want all this other shit. It's gonna change you. You just went from set to house, one bedroom, this and that. Now you penthouse, five bedrooms. Yeah, you don't even talk the same no more. You don't even look. You don't look at people. Nah, ain't signing nobody. Ain't signing nobody. All this for the deal. For sure. Folk. Independent. Do you think, so what what do you think is better? Independent or being signed? It depends. Definitely depends on what you sign. It depends so on what you sign, who you sign it to, what it look like, what they tell you, how much it's for. Yeah. Everything. So say AK Sounds wants to sign you for like three million but like three albums. I'm gone. I don't know. You got nothing to talk about. What's the what's the percentages on the back end? Say okay, say we own your publishing. Yeah, all my publishing, but yeah. I get my master's. 50% of your master's. I ain't but you get three mil straight up. Like, I ain't signed with you. 50%. Huh? But what are you going to do with your master's? Because even if I get the three million back and I try to get my master's, that's going to be a whole headache. Mm. Hey, uh, can you tell the audience what uh, owning your master's means? You know what I'm saying? For people that don't know what that is, I mean. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> owning your master's is. I can take the, the publishing and the masters here. Mm -hmm. Publishing is like YouTube, all the mm -hmm. all the ad, all the ways and avenues to listen to my music. Mm -hmm. That's published because they put it out there as publishing it. Gotcha. So let's say YouTube say I get a hundred thousand a month. Mm -hmm. They take my hundred thousand a month from YouTube. Mm -hmm. The Apple side, like let's say Apple, Apple, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, all let's say five music streams so I get a hundred thousand months, so that's five hundred thousand. They take five hundred thousand months. And the math and is the math thing is, is if it's playing on radio on the radio later and they already pay me four cent per view, let's say there's a hundred people viewing how much that is, they get that they gonna get half of that. But when they own your shit, they uh. That's the music. Those they songs. They advertise it more, right? So you could get more famous. Yeah. So not. look, that, yeah. that's what I was gonna say. That's the cutoff. 
that's the um the selling point of the machine, you know what I'm saying? Getting signed by a big ass label right. is mm -hmm. is them being able to push you and market you to places that you probably can't reach. You know what I'm saying? But if you do have the cash behind you, bro, I say to break a song, bro, yeah. like 250 racks, bro, to break a, a, a fucking hit. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? But as to break investment. a local hit, bro, like as an investment, break a local hit, bro, like to hit some shit, bro, I say like 50 racks, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Shit, 50 I mean, racks I mean, probably shit, you gold, I don't bro. know, like, like that's what I wanted to talk to J.E. about. Like, yo, yeah. how, much, how much does it take to really fucking to fucking, you know, yeah, hit a fucking bit. big ass song and shit. I don't even know how much is it big ass song. I can tell you how much it is for the setup. You yeah. gotta pay studio time. So I get can't say that I get yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. I get I get deals though. Y'all, everybody get deals. Yeah, you know good. that everybody yeah. get deals. It is like face card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. face card. So let's say <laughs> let's say they say eight hours, three hundred. Eight hours, three hundred. Yeah. You just pay three hundred for eight hours. You gotta go on that make song. Before you go on that make song, you can get a YouTube beat, a beat from somebody. You, know, you got paper them. Yeah. So all right, turbulence. You guys have turbulence. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost to master that song? Where it's like radio ready type shit. Is it master? Oh, it ain't master. It, just, it ain't even mixed or master. It's actually just pre-mixed from from like from, from the session. Uh, the master it. I drop shit straight like that. The master is two hundred. Uh -huh. That's just the song. Yeah. So that's two fifty to the master is two fifty, but that's five hundred. You ain't doing music video yet. Wow. Music video, you gotta have clothes, <laughs> women, cars, probably an Airbnb or your location. Any rental car you want, you'll deposit for your rental car five hundred, seven hundred, or a thousand dollars. Wow. So. Five, ten, you gotta stack and you ain't even get in this motherfucker. You just paid the deposit. You gotta put your clothes on or what you gonna put on. That could be something nice or whatever you gonna spell on that, whatever you want clothes budget. You want a nice video, you gotta get the camera man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta pay for the camera man. Then guess what? Let's say you just cover all that. Yeah. You got your video, you paid for the models or whatnot. You spend it. Guess what? You just got hungry. So <laughs> do what you gonna do. You gotta pay for everything. It's so much. So I I really probably say five will get you in the door. Like with a video and everything like that. Probably less than that. But I just know the sub, how everything costs you will probably spend you about five for real. Five racks? Yeah. On a quick. on a song. Song, video, record, all that. It's been like five more than that, depending on who you are or how they're looking at you. They might try. They might try to hit across the head. Yeah, see what course. you say. If you go along with it, you gotta hit across the head. Yeah. Like Especially if it, if it don't hurt your pockets and you know it, it won't. Yeah. Yeah, hit you across the head. Yeah. It's fun though. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's fun. Yeah, that's what's up. Fucking, um, so yeah, so what do you guys gotta do? You gotta master your song, Turbulence. Yeah. So that's 200 bucks. And then y'all gotta shoot the video. Yeah. Get the models and shit. We got that's the production the team, you know? And yeah, uh, after you have all that, so, so we just dropped the song. You just right. dropped the song, right? right. Mm -hmm. What's going on next? After I drop it? Yeah, say like you drop it on October 31st, Halloween. If I drop it on Halloween? Yeah. How long until when? Today. Oh. We don't like to say the date of the pod, but like, whatever. <laughs> oh, you said I'm, I, I'm lost. So, so okay, you're, like, you're, I'm you're a video or something. Yeah, what's your next move, basically? Oh, yeah. all right. For somebody coming up, because people are looking at this. I'm paying for learn. promo. Yeah. I'm paying for promo. If I just yeah. put my song out today, yeah. I'm paying for promo. Who are you going to? Everybody. Who's everybody? Like, whoever gave me a deal that I can work with. Yeah, okay. Like, okay, let's say. Let's say I can't say the actual names and stuff, but let's say you some some fast nine five four. Yeah. You're big dog Florida team promotions, and you're um okay. Smile with you want five. Yeah. He got five hundred thousand followers. Everything he upload gets sixty k views plus more I thousand comments, shit, yeah. all that. He get everything. All right. You want a stack? You want a thousand dollars? You might have thirty five thousand. But your views, you probably get a hundred or something. Your comments not as hefty. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, he want 300. He got 10,000. But everybody on his page. 
You got five and three. Even though you cheaper, I'm gonna go with three and five if I can afford three and five because not only he got the followers, they they engaging. He a bad agent. Then he got the five. When I go to him, I'm trying to work out deals with my five because that's five. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to see everything I can get with this five. If I can't really get much, oh well. That's again, much you mean? I didn't know how many times to promote it. I didn't know how many times to promote it. When you gonna do it? How I'm doing the story of your main page. Is this is a one time thing. If I do it again, it's gonna be another 5,000. Is it deals? If I give you five, do it come with this, is that the third? Shit, 5,000. Can I get some merch? <laughs> like, <laughs> something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's 5,000. I just. It's just nothing that some people are right to. Yeah. That's yeah. just five from the give you eight. Yeah. Oh, look. And I gave you five. Yeah, I saw on um, YouTube was coming out with Will Star. Will Star, you know, get I mean, he still does, it, but he's getting paid, bro. Yeah, just uh, people just paying him to promo. They just be promoing all the time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he just gave me my new uh, bag idea. Yeah, for you sure. Take it, don't tell him. Wildcats, take it, don't tell him. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Wildcats promotion. And then they say, I'm not AK promotion. I'm not inside. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, we're well, in this bitch, bro. So, fucking. Not even just that type of promotion, all promotions like yeah. DJs, clubs, everything. Yeah. You got to do all of that. Yeah. You want to be played, you want to get spins, you got to do everything. You got to do everything. Everything you see of these artists and other rappers got to do, when you see them tied in a breakfast club and they promo run, you got to do all that. Wow. They tied. They got millions of dollars. They boys up there tied yeah. in the interview. They're doing that interview like five, six or more. You get what I'm saying? They don't matter. You want them M's? You got to be there five, six or more. It's like playing football. Yeah. You know yeah, we ain't we ain't no check yet. We ain't no check yet. <laughs> so so shit to come. You gotta go five in the morning, you want that. Get that shit. After five in the morning, you gotta be on the field fully packed. Yeah. Ready to go. So it's like four or five radio stations, so they hit that all in the same day in that one city and then they go to a different city, hit three, four. Wow. Five, Imagine that. Shit. Imagine you're at breakfast club. Me at a breakfast club? Yeah, me from the in the motherfucking bed right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be laughing. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm on breakfast club. I made it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Fuck you. Yeah. I think you made it already. Fuck you. Yeah, I made it. Fuck you. I think you made it already. For me? Yeah, both of y'all. I think y'all made it already. I be saying that because like my my friends kind of old friends, like I grew up with, and all that. Like, yeah, I made it. 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 Yeah, all the time. All the time. That's crazy. So it's like, so like it could have been me. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah. So, and I was, I was kind of doing, like, I used to be doing, like, with them running around and doing, like, way more. So to see that happen, them and nothing happened to me, I ain't never, I never was the person to be like, oh, thank God, what me. I used to be like, damn, why that had to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, damn, this happened yeah. again. So I happened again. It was like that. But that's good that you're reflecting on those situations. Like, damn, it could have been me. Yeah. What can I do opposite? You know? And like, you guys just are in the studio putting in work on mm -hmm. podcasts, doing interviews. You know what I'm saying? That's how you stay out the streets, you know? No, I'm gonna say how you stay out the streets. What, get a girl? Hell no. <laughs> get a girl, gonna put your ass back in the street sometimes. Cause she'll kick your eye. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's no <laughs> But you're um, homeless right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. I think I mess with the big girl. <laughs> well, I can't do no big girl. Wrong. I mean, you're homeless. You gotta, you gotta take what you get. Home cooked meals and everything. Come on, man. Let's see. I can't. You can't beat no home cooked meals. It's meal. a band aid. It's just a band aid. Man. I ain't gonna lie. One thing I learned as a man, you can't beat no home cooked meals. Yes, sir. Yeah. Only way you can beat is by me. But. Yeah, I feel like you was gonna say something real quick. Yeah, I love the fan yeah. Fuck yeah, it's big girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shout out to big girls. Love, you go really loves the big girls. Nah, I ain't never loved them. Ain't never loved them. Yeah, ain't never loved them. Shit, so be pretty. I just can't do it. It's not, it's not my type. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. say. You smell it. I ain't even trying to put them. Like, big girls, some of them are pretty. Some of them be pretty. Somebody not wrong with them. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Everything wrong with them. Glow, big girls, real quick. I can't say nothing wrong with it. I don't like it. I just don't like it, so I will never know. It's not a preference. You know what I'm saying? Of course. 
Eu não acho. 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 Eu não I don't really know much new artists. All of them, right? All of them. Yeah. Ain't no one. See, yeah. like, how the music stuff going, I want to work with, like, that like everybody in Detroit and Memphis, because, like, they got it going on right now. But if I can catch, if I can catch the game changers, I'm going to catch them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, game changers, that's like dirt, baby. Yeah. All of them, yeah, the game changers. Yeah. If I can catch them game changers. Yeah, sure. if I can catch one of those, I'm gone. Yeah, for sure. You got to pull up to the studio, though. Yeah. Hmm? The jacket? Oh, I'm oh. <laughs> oh, tripping. <laughs> I thought. You said I pulled up to the studio? You said Detroit, man. What? Damn. That's kind of like... We have, we have, we have, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, 436 uh, JD. Yeah. Yeah, you said Detroit because a lot of people don't believe you know, too in with Detroit. Nah, yeah. I like good music. Yeah. I like good music. You make good music on this. I ain't got to be from England. Yeah. You can be from California. You guys, you guys know, um, uh, YK, YKG? He's from, he's from down here. He played football for South. There's a brother named Vontae Hendricks. Man, he's talking about oh, YG. He's talking about who was 1KYG. That's the dog. Yeah, Sherman yeah. Fritz. Yeah, Fritz. Yeah. That's the dog. Fritz had me. Fritz had me in the studio. I was going to be going crazy with the Fritz. I was going to be crazy with the Fritz. I made a song with Fritz. Detroit Beats. I made a song with Fritz. Yeah? I think I made like two or three songs with Fritz. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, you got to drop that, bro. Yeah, no, I that's shit. Add yeah. my brother. Add my brother. Yeah. 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 Add my brother. They no, nah, they straight, they good. Yeah. I ain't like my. I told them I'm, I'm, nah, I ain't gonna release cool it. On, no, nah, I told them like, it was my song. They jumped on it. It was their homeboy studio. You know, I got in contact with them, so they pulled up with me, made the song. I ain't like that shit. They went hard though, but I ain't like mine. So I, I ain't never hear that. What What would happen in that situation? If you guys are in a song and you like your verse. Do you submit another verse or? Yeah, you just submit another verse and do a different song. It just or seems how it. urgent is that song, like maybe to them, to their schedule type Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We ain't nobody. Yeah. We're trying to be. Not yet, yeah. Yeah, we don't know how we hear about their name. Yeah. So. You gotta treat it. They got mad at me, though. Yeah, they got mad at me. They got mad at me. They got mad at me. Because they was like, bro, it sounds good, bro, put it out. You only got two years. What if they put it out? What if they put it out without your. You know? Really? Like, well, like, fuck it, bro. Yeah. That shit's wrong. They just put it out. I ain't tripping. I ain't no ass. Okay, we'll be you don't send no cease and desist? What I'm saying, well, I'm just saying, not saying you, but oh. people in general. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Booji people, though. That's, that's the people. That's I ain't gonna sue you. If I think it's, if so, I think it's suck and you love it and you put it out, then you... It's like, like it. your boy drops that shit and he makes some millions. I'm sure he'll give him the splits. Like, I'm saying do it on. What's your... Give me my piece. Yeah. I still don't like it. How, how do you guys, well, how are you going to drop music? Like on Distro Kid, Tune United, United Masters. United Masters. Okay. I had a profile with them. I got to redo it. Yeah. But since I had to redo it, that's what I was choosing. I should I go back to them or not. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and, and that's that just like free, right? United Masters or something? No, you got to pay. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's you expensive to fucking make music, bro. Like, the studio, you gotta pay to yeah, drop a song. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so, recently, um, I dropped a song three days ago. It's like a house song, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We're stepping out of the comfort zone. Uh, yeah, I was in Colombia, yeah. Medellin. We went to the studio, and my brother pulled up on me, and my uncle pulled up. He's a house DJ, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I was like, hey, I'm working on this. Just come through real quick. And fucking... Um, I recorded that same night and I took that session song mm -hmm. and I uploaded it to SoundCloud, put it private, mm -hmm. and then I just mastered it through there. Really? Yeah, there's a mastering feature on SoundCloud if you have the pro. And um, if you make a good enough mix mm -hmm. in the studio okay. and yeah, you master that bitch, bro, 
it's a good fucking song. You know what I'm saying? So I did it and then I uploaded it. I went on Canva. I made it my cover art and I fucking uploaded that. And then I went on Distro Kid. You made your own cover art? Yeah, yeah. Man, I'd be spending hundreds of dollars on cover Fuck that, bro. Yeah, fuck that. I used to spend on this guy named Pre-Made Cover. He's very great. It's like 30 bucks, 70 if you want like the video with like the nice animated shit. But I was like, I ain't really trying to spend like that shit right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, bro, he's fucking. Everything, everything is, you know. Yo, you gotta think, you gotta fucking money, think man. out here, bro. You gotta use my your money sorry. to work for you. My sorry for the weight, uh. Yeah, that cover's hard as fuck. That shit is 250. Yeah, but see, in the motion thing, though, the, the skeletons at the bottom move. Yeah. Yeah, that shit yeah, is that's fucking lit. That shit is hard, though. That's from Dollars and Designs. Yeah, you were a higher athlete from Pakistan, but he didn't have a good chance. Nah, I ain't trying to have that shit hard, guy. Shout out to Dollars and Designs, that shit hard. Nah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, bro. But, like, a lot of artists may, may not have the same backing you have or like right. stacked up like you guys have and shit. Shit, like, I ain't got that. I, I'm, I'm just, just saying, I'm just saying, like somebody I'm, watching. Man, I'll pay that seven. You gotta, yeah, that's you gotta look you gotta much. look for your best resources and shit. So that's what I did with Canva, it was free, I made that design and shit. And then fucking um I dropped a song on Distro Kid, it cost me like 32 bucks. For real? Yeah, releases and like maybe I put like the earliest date, October 19th. Yeah, I, I put think. a thing on Instagram. Got a couple and views and shit. Yeah, like 10 days or like. Yeah, you know, yeah. Got released in 10 days after you like, try to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, bro. This trip here? You gotta wait? Yeah, I you gotta wait, wait like a couple days. Yeah. You know the message you gotta wait too, but I don't know how long. Like, I think 10 days too. Yeah, about 10 days. Yeah. yeah, bro. Put the lyrics on there, the credits. That uh-huh. releases maybe like two weeks later because yeah. it's still have time to upload to all the platforms. And then now you got all your shit. I ain't gonna lie, you know that'd be killing me because I know what you're talking about with the lyrics because it'll tell you to type, you can type the lyrics in and like, no comment. Yeah, you gotta do that shit, bro. It's just lit. People but think like the small things like that don't matter. Yeah. Small credits and all that. It's but just you know what's more crazy. professional and shit, yeah. When, like, when you punch in, I punch in, and then it's like, when I, I, I did that for like, it was a song I punched in, it was telling me to um, add the lyrics. I can add the lyrics on the thing, and I'm just like, mm. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I said. Like, I can hear it clearly, but it's like, I'm not gonna type that. That's too much to type. Yeah, I feel you. I'm not typing that. Yeah. And I just put it out. But being that you said that, and I remember talking to um, YG. Yeah. Like, one gay. I'm gonna be dropping, now. Nah, yeah, dropping. but see, he was telling me when he do the notes, he won't miss it. And I like to see the lyrics and stuff, but the music playing. Oh, yeah. I ain't know that. So it's like you just run that right back and let me definitely been told me that. Wow. That, that I didn't know that. that. That's a pretty good trick. Yeah. Fucking, um, but yeah, shout out to them boys. They're fucking going hard. Cause uh, I would like to make music with them one day. I fucking. Um, you got to go on now? Yeah. But See, like, we never like really link on the time and shit like that. You know, life and shit like that. Yeah. But definitely. I always. I'm going to tell you what's up. Yeah, shit. going to the studio with them. Cause you got to think about going to their studio with there are people that, that's used to them. So this is like my second time, my third time in the studio. Yeah. First time I was with my homeboy, man, man, that's Mucci. Shout out to man. So it was all Mucci. We was in the studio, he made a song, came out. Like, I, I didn't make a song, I was in the hood, I was just chilling. The second time, that's when we called me. So we come to the Airbnb, that's when I made a song that y'all put on the thing. Yeah. Third time I was with um Fritz, one yeah. K. I was with I was with YG, one K. Get in there, they already sent him the beat and stuff like that. So it's already up when we walk in. So just imagine, as soon as you sit down, it's your third time in the studio, it's your second time recording, and the beat that you got it's do. press play. This is I'm just exactly what the engineer said. You get this drink ready. Oh, it's good. Um, yeah, you go in there already. Right? I'm already ready for you. You go in there. I'm ready. Hurry up. Who, me? You want me to go in there? Man, our boys got to wait. Man, I ain't ready like that. We got to chill. I was, you know, drink a little bit, vibe, listen to the beat some more. Play mad. I did everything else. I tried to do everything else except for. How <laughs> nervous is that? As soon as I got in there, yeah, hurry up. Come on. Hell yeah, no. Yeah. My feet don't even feel right to walk in here, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, <laughs> legs still shaking a little bit. Yeah, that shit is, that shit is kind of nervous. Before, but, especially in a professional yeah, studio. Like, when, but I'm going to be honest with you, when he like, 
You know, he talked to me like, I said, come on, like, you know, you don't want to, you just want to wait on them? And I'm like, nah, he told me to do it. I ain't comfortable. This is my, you know, I'm letting him, my second time, for real, like, we're going to record or something. And he started laughing. He was like, oh, shit. You definitely got to get it. Now, you know what I'm saying? He like, you got to go. You got to get uncomfortable. You're going to be uncomfortable. You got this. That's right. For sure. So now, I, I'm, I'm used to, I'm comfortable now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're gonna feel comfortable when you go to the yeah. tonight. Yeah, sure. I go in there and Yeah, that's what's up. Fucking um so what's the goal that you guys have? You guys have a mutual goal? Are you because you guys are solo artists, right? Or I mean I ain't Yeah, we just make shit together. Yeah, like okay. we make shit together. Like Method Man and Red Man, y'all know that? Type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But if you come with the right amount. I'm signing to you. Yeah, we're gonna be a group like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. AKBT and AKBT. Duo. Tell you something. They don't mind. bitch. That's what's up. For sure. Fucking, um, so do you guys have like an idea of what, like when you go to the studio, like do you have any lyrics prepared or some shit? Yeah, I already have. I already have, I have a beat up already. Like I had a beat in my notes. Yeah. Like I said, I had a beat in like four or five lines. I'd be done. Yeah, yeah see, I, I ain't gonna lie, I just go out the vibe of the beat and. Like while he rapping, I'll probably like maybe say some shit in the head, maybe like write like one line. Okay. Kind I start the, the one theme. line and yeah. then we just go off the whole like off of that one line and just say whatever I want. Yeah. Yeah. So, so is there a time like that y'all had that like was like damn this fucking session is just everything went wrong type shit? I had one about myself. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. I, well, I ain't gonna say I, ain't gonna say I, well, I was by myself. I just had somebody with me, dog. I ain't gonna let somebody just fuck my whole session up. This shit was so funny, but I don't like to see people on shit for real. I ain't gonna speak on it, but but the shit was just, it was just too hilarious. He just came in there with just on the mic, and I was listening to him on the mic, and me and the engineer and other people on the ground was just like, nah, boy, that ain't it. Boy, you got just. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I already done fucked the whole night up. So now when it's my turn, the engineer just like, he's just ready to go. Like, yeah. he not really like trying to like vibe. vibe with me and take time with me and fix the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause other bro always gonna irritate him. But other bro was with me though. I didn't know he was gonna go in there and do that shit. <laughs> 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 that nigga went in there and talk about that oh, yeah, shit. He went in there and laid straight <laughs> fucking egg. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I never that. <laughs> You gonna go in the studio? That's, that's, that's not my talent, bro. If it was something <laughs> I was talented with, I would do it. But you could, you could do a, a intro or something. Uh, what? Stick to <laughs> Sound like that. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta know how to pop it though. You gotta pop your shit. You gotta yeah, I mean, I've never tried before, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, you never know. But I mean, you, you, just you know how to pop your shit? What do you mean? Like, just rap? Like, no, nah, pop your shit. It's like, you really. It's like, <laughs> you really. Nah, pop your shit means, pop your shit means, like, you flexing. Like, you yeah. bragging. Okay, you know, I got you. It's, it's bragging, like, you flexing and bragging, but you're supposed to do it for a motivational purpose. Most people don't do it for a motivational purpose. Just yeah. like a little flex. Yeah, I'm flexing. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The only time I pop my shit was something like that. Made me mad or tried me. Uh -huh. Or like trying to like play on my top or something. Like just trying to just like make it seem like I'm just like, like I'm not him. I just sure get that I'm him real quick. Like you tripping like this. I can do this. I do shit that my favorite rapper can't do. Yeah. Real, real life. Yeah. Definitely uh, producing music and making music is a fucking blessing. If yeah. you're good at it, I'll fucking do it every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Not That's a lot of people know how to just rap or freestyle or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got a good ear for beats. And yeah, you could be an A&R. You know what I'm saying? Tell That's somebody what to drop, you can pick out the next single or some shit. It's not easy. Yeah, bro. It takes a whole team, bro, for sure. Yeah. I think that's why I just record, like, even not being up by myself. It ain't easy. I'm just used to, like I said, I got comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be watching people that been rapping before me. I'm gonna yeah. be more comfortable. I don't want to get late. I don't probably want to get two, three songs. Wow. It's like the first song, I'm comfortable, I'm chilling. Now nah, I'm busting them out. You know what I'm saying? Now nah, they're coming. I'm busting them out. Yeah. Give me the second song, I'm on five. How long do you take? I was my bad, that's right. 
I was going to say fucking, because some people say you're recording a lot for quantity or some people record for quality. I say 50-50, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Try to give you the best hook and all that shit, but I'm not going to be fucking like Eminem on this bitch. You see me? I'm, I'm already. How I do it? I'm yeah. already not even rapping on that bitch. If the beat will come on and everybody in here, it's like already. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I ain't on it. <laughs> What you mean? I'm not on it. Yeah. Like the beat cut on and no, and everybody in here is not going on with the beat, and I didn't even sit up here. I'm not on it. Wow. Car already. Right. The first the beat already caught you. Got the beat catch. already caught you. The beat got it. Now it don't even matter what I say. I just yeah. gotta say something. I gotta say some shit. So why you like this? And I say something. You, like, play you know what I'm yeah. saying? You gonna play it back? Cause you already like the beat. You gotta say some crazy ass. Yeah, that's what's up. What were you going to say? No, I was going to say you feel like um, maybe a lot of those rappers are just more intimidated of other people being in the studio, like the rappers or just uh, Yeah, I'd be intimidated with certain people in the studio. If you ain't, I'm not intimidated, but it's like, nah, I'm super uncomfortable. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Cause it's like, nah, I really got to rap. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, you could, it's like you could, um, what do you mean, like an artist though? Like another artist? No, another artist. No, it had to be somebody I'm close to. Yes, it, it, oh, okay. See, for me, at first, it, I, yeah. like when I made my first song. I told my, I told my brother to come. I told my brother, I'm going to say my flip the two. Yeah. My brother's going to come. Not, nah, but let me just chill. Shut the high. Wow. Yeah. Shut the high. You can listen to the music, see the videos all day. Shut the career. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Shut the career. Because when, when we first started recording, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never recorded with him before. He ain't never recorded with me before, so like, we not, I'm just trying to catch his vibe. But then it was like, all right, boom. You know what I'm saying? We done caught the vibe. It's like the first shit. About 20 minutes after I heard him, I'm like, yeah, we good. Now I try to go catch the vibe with like just other people in the studio that's around that I don't know, but they invited me. But I know other people in there, but there's some people that I don't know around as well. I'm in the studio, you know, like, in big glass. Everybody yeah, looking at me, I, I'm rapping. I, I can't, I can't do that shit. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Yeah, <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah, that's just crazy. Nah, no, it's more like a vulnerable thing because you feel like you're yeah. vulnerable in the studio. You don't want people to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, 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 yeah. Ooh, dude, like y'all start that, start that, cause like, and, like doing it is like, damn, like what the fuck you doing? This shit sound ass. But like, when you hear, that, when you hear the song, let you just let the song play, they like, oh, okay, now nah, I see what you doing. Yeah, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, why you recording that shit? That shit yeah, sounds so ass. I ain't gonna lie, cause that, I ain't gonna lie, it was some shit that he was saying one time. I'm like, what the fuck is you end up doing? Like, what are you saying? Like, what? And he said, but just listen real quick. He, the dude played it out loud. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's what you went in there and said. Cause at the same time, cause really I was outside, but it just sounded like he was just like, and I just saying anything, but I really couldn't hear him cause I'm outside yeah. the, 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 um, the room. But he came back out, he was like, I just listen to real quick. Yeah. Do you have a okay. specific engineer? No, I don't. No? Interesting. Are you looking for one? Are you looking I for one? <laughs> I need a whole team. We, we can help. I was about to say, I ain't gonna lie. We can help. We can lock in with a whole team, a whole engineer, everything. That would be perfect. Like, yeah. So we what are you guys stop. looking for? We'll, we'll show you the I don't have shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? You guys are just, oh, you don't have nothing? Yeah, we, so I ain't gonna lie. You need a producer and an engineer. We literally bounce around like the, you know what I'm saying? The different Video studios. Man, and yeah, the master. Ah, I see. If I have my own cameraman, that's different, but I know hella cameraman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm even good with like two of them, but Need some my nice own, time. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my own, I don't have my own. Yeah. I mean, everybody say, if you're an artist, uh, if y'all gonna be artists, y'all need like your own team, like your team around. And anybody that, you got like my people. You, you, I, what I suggest is buying a camera and paying like your little brother, follow yeah. me around. I right. fucking pay you, like just yeah. follow, mm -hmm. record this real quick. Mm. About to go walk into the store, like record this real quick. Mm. You know, like shopping at Humble Religion, you know, or, or you know, what's that brand you got right now? Uh, this uh, they want hustle. They want hustle. They want it. Yeah. They want it to Pearl. Is that Polo? <laughs> From Melrose? Nah, that's Polo. Them like look, look, um, you know, they they look they family want family numbers, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, that's hard. Shout out Polo. 
fucking. But yeah, yeah you know, Dave, Dave, it's David. It's David. Oh, so the name Dave. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. He cool. He cool. cool. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. I met Buddy in the building. He had a photo shoot here. Polo. Nah, uh, the day one hustle dude. He got yeah. dreads, right? Yeah, he got yeah. dreads. It was at Rooftop. Uh, you must see him at Rooftop. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. I met him at a, like a pool yeah. gathering party that there was here. Yeah, yeah. Like a year ago. Who's that? That's what's Boy, up, I had a bunch of hoes. Females. Females. But nah, you got a boy that got they got some bullshit going on dude. Yeah. Got some yeah. shit going on dude. So Shout they out, so, so, so they come on. Yo, boy, you about to sign? If who? Day one just comes. If they want to sign me, yeah. man, I knew them since they was in middle school. I'm older than them. Yeah. They can't sign me. <laughs> yeah. They can sign me. They can sign me. <laughs> yeah. See, bag even about. if they did have the money, I probably wouldn't. Cause like I could and cool you. Like I knew them before everything even started. Yeah. So it's like, right. once you give me money like that, it's not gonna be the same relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'd rather keep it. Yeah, yeah I'm already knowing how to respect like that for sure. Money does change a lot. Yeah. yeah. When a lot of money comes in. Cause, Cause if you give me that much money, now I'm looking at this shit different. You know what I'm saying? I look at it between me and you, but now I'm like, okay, you just gave me this because you believe in me, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's like, what else come with it? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And rap, rap, well, making music in general, I feel like for rapping, because hip hop is like the dangerous ass fucking career to choose. It's, you know, maybe you can mitigate that with like what you're saying. You make it dangerous. You yeah. can make it what you make it. Yeah, I yeah. feel you. Fair. Like, all right. But like, say like a guy like you who like you guys are you guys are iced out and shit, yeah. right? You guys look like entertainers, like artists, you know, mm -hmm. off the bat. And fucking like, say you're out somewhere shooting a video or whatever, like anything can happen. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, idiots be like, yo, you ain't check in, dog. Like shit like that. You know. Go ahead. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, 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 we ain't going that. We ain't going for none of that chicken and bullshit. Yeah. Like, they say, oh, you ain't check in. Go at it. Going yeah. at it. Yeah. Dang. Sure. Going at it. Chicken and bullshit. Fuck yeah, nah. No, because I see that video with the baby and shit. Yeah. yeah. Going at it. Yeah. Sure. Now there's something where we can't avoid, and it's like, we got the ups. I got to check in. I got the up, so we want to do Can't go at it. You guys got a security team yet? We, we got I know good, some. I got we, we, we got a pretty good connect with a good security fucking squad. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, what we rolling with y'all? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's not like it. Yeah. 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 We stay blicked up, dude. Yeah. So I, 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 I think I told you at the at the strip club, I was like, yo, I can make you look like a fucking celebrity, bro. Yeah, I for think sure. I said, you tell me about all the security. I was at the security, I'm with the fucking camera team, bro. We're well, fucking, oh my gosh, bro. I made you look like a fucking that's star. That's, that's, that's why I feel like, bro, I could fucking. That's what I was trying to do with Buddha, bro. Like, I was yeah. trying to break him out as an artist because I, I didn't want to, like, him to use football. You know what I'm saying? I also didn't want to fuck up his bag with that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For sure. And I fucking, um, me, yeah. So I didn't want them like I'd be like, yo, let's chill on the music, post yeah. some more football shit, and you know, he was he was definitely on his way back to the league, and fucking um, and yeah, that's what I was trying to do, like have yeah. a security team set up, like shoot that lifestyle shit, that's it, yeah. you know, he already has his credibility, he made yeah. his money from the league and all that shit, that's it, like you know, like another thing to go back, perception is reality, that's one for of the sure. Truths, yeah. Another thing to go back to what you were saying about like dangers and all that stuff, yeah. Like that. You got, but I'll say it's what you make it. Mm -hmm. It's how many is five of us up here? We can rap about five different things. Yeah. You can rap about spinning. You can rap about drugs. You can rap about women. I can rap about clothes. You can rap about pain. Yeah. As girl left me and shit. That should go viral. You get what I'm saying? That's what he's going through right now. It's like, I think everybody lost a girl before. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit like that. So, then you can flip it the other way. He rap about bullets. Wow. You rap about school. You rap about somebody who just went and, you just went and got your mans from around the corner. He gone now, he turns somebody to a ghost. Wow. Now you gotta worry about them people. That's on the other side, the side that you ain't on. Now when you pop out, they shooting at your ass, you like, oh, rap dangerous. Nah, you just went over there and did something, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that shit is on you. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you got, like, where's Khalifa? He rap about weed. You don't see him in shit. <laughs> He's chilling. You don't see him in nothing. Yeah, that's shit. so true. Yeah. That's a great point. Rap out of Drake, you ass boy, jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ass, yeah. really, you know what I'm saying? 
what I'm saying? It's like, it's what you make. Right. What you talk about. Nigga what you want to buy that switch. Yeah, definitely. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you got you rapping about it. That's what you, that's what you yeah. let everybody know. That's you what's got going on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's a show me world. Show me. So you talking about it. Show me. So you talking about you got guns and you want to kill and y'all want to do all this to these people. Wow. You want to see that when you click on your stuff. And then we might, you got some people that they think, oh, we tough over here and what's bubble fuck? Fuck y'all niggas, I'm coming on your shit. Fuck you, I'm on beef. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you don't even know these boys, y'all. If you go there, do a show, they take your chain. What? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you were talking crazy. Yeah, these boys trying to see how tough you really yeah, are. You, you know what I'm saying? Rapping tough. Boy, you rapping wow. tough. Some people want to see how tough you really are. Back, back to the football field, talking shit with the football field. They're finna run into you. Yeah. Yeah, from the come across your shit. You finna see what's up. Yeah. Same thing, I'm rapping. Oh, I, I wish a nigga would try to take my chain. We finna try. <laughs> we finna try. See what it's yeah. Every time. Yeah. 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 Somebody's just as hungry as you out there, for sure. Yeah. It's always somebody above, it don't matter what aspect, somebody always got you. Amen. Wow. Just stay in You will never know who got you. So what's the lane that, that y'all boys are on right now? Me? I see how you live, bro. Yeah. I'm just going. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are just parallel. To be honest with you, I'm still winging it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm still making shit work. Making shit happen. Yeah. Got to swing out of Got to win it. I feel you. Life you gotta feel it, bro. Life you gotta is good, feel it. Dude. But life, it, good. Life. You got, life is good. Life is great, bro. Life is a blessing. You gotta have a plan, though, fam. Oh, you know no, I got a plan. I know you got a plan. But I'm just saying, but while, I'm, while I'm on my plan, and I mean, see like little breaks and shit, I'm winging it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gotcha. winging it. Copy. So I'm on, this, I'm on the same road, but it might be a little detour here, detour here, but I could go around this way. I'm winging it. You're going this way. Yeah. yeah, where you stay in your lane. Definitely oh, got a destination. That road is great, but we might go to Disney World. The road is great. Mm-hmm. See, okay. to get there, you got to go straight. That road ain't like straight, though. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, that it's... shit got holes in it, potholes, loops, everything. It's really on the roller coaster. You ain't even driving the bitch for real. Yeah. Die once, live every day. That's why you always wake up. Let's try it again. Do this shit over. Yeah, it is. That's what's up, bro. So this is your third podcast, your third, third interview. Third interview, yeah. How do you feel so far? How I feel? Yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna do some shit because I went from no podcast, now I'm a third podcast. Good. Appreciate it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Put it there, huh? I'm on my third podcast. I ain't got a music video out, bro. Yeah. I did shows, walkthroughs, no, no video. Not even a music video. Just I don't say I ain't got no music video. Mm-hmm. I ain't got a snippet on my Instagram like email on my shit. I ain't got a snippet. Yeah. I ain't got a. Yeah, I, I, I know it's hard to make that fucking. That's 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 hard to make that you know it's coming soon though. Coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah, for sure. In the building. Fucking. So, you guys, bro, got some stuff already made. Yeah. Needs to get mastered. You want to keep yeah. going. Is there any type of genres that you guys like fuck with? I know you guys said Detroit music, male you know, hip hop. Would y'all ever hop on like, say, a Spanish artist? He's like, yo, you call me. Come here, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> See what's so crazy? I, I ain't gonna love, bro. You're gonna be rapping. I got, I yeah. got As long bro. as the bag is right, that's it. I got some crazy habits too. And I go perform with one of the Spanish artists. I got, I got a yeah. Tesla. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to artist. pull up to the little charger and shit. I, like, the charger. Like, I'm coming up the highway, the charger, like, 0.2 miles away from me. My car, my car died right in front of the no. fucking charger shit. That little toe dude come help me, put me in front of the charger, and get me right and shit. But while he helped me, he introduced me to this little Chinese, that was talking about Chinese, this little uh, Spanish artist. I can't, I can't give his name, but yeah, but that, that's crazy that, that you asked that. But I, I was just talking to a, a little Spanish artist and stuff like that. There trying you to go, bro. Some shit. There you go. That's yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's, shit, that's what I think. It don't matter what the genre is. If it if it sound right, I know like oh, it's I can do something. If, yeah, if, if people are vibing to it, yeah. yeah, I can do something with this. It got to really, yeah. really like 
See me, I'm good with beats. Mm. Not making them, but listening to yeah. them. Is that okay? If I hear this, I I hear this one. No. But I can hear one that's like I can hear a no and say, and hey, you can add two this to that. And you can do that, nah, I just made the note, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So once you do that, it's gone. It's got gone. It. You got to have that. Yeah. yeah, bro, gotta be able to diversify. You guys definitely could be some fucking international stars, bro, for sure. You could, like, yeah, like Nathan Man Redman type yeah, shit. That was a big R&B pop. Yeah. I tell, I tell every yeah. artist, bro, like, bro, you should always incorporate acting into your videos. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not like skits type shit, like real, try to real fucking act. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because in the long run, say like, a some fucking guy who knows a guy who saw the video who was like, yo, I'd like to pick him up for this pilot, you know, which is like a first episode oh, shit. Come up this and, you, know. you know? And bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Rapping has a cap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It has a cap. You like, the biggest you could take this, bro, is like, as big as you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lil Durr, Drake level type shit. But like, that's their cap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if I get exactly what you're saying. Like, once you get here, like, that's it. That's it. That's, that's the love so, song. So, look, I'm going to give you the example. The Rock, right? Right. He played football. He was raw as fuck. Came, yeah. to, came to Miami. Warren Sapp was way fucking raw than him, right? Sure. He's like, okay, I'm going to try the professional route. Didn't work out, right? Went to wrestling. Became the best. The biggest star. You have a cap at wrestling. What did he do? He went into movies. movies. Right, and you, you get a cap right? now when he's one of the biggest movie stars ever, and now he has his own what production company that fucking makes movies and shows. So like now his so cap, man. you got to think about it like a, it's next another level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're on the cover right rapping, now, but I feel like bro, you guys have good presence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you guys know how to communicate and shit like that, yeah, yeah. and fucking, you know, right. incorporate that acting into your videos, bro. Just like small little shit, just try to fucking mm. do it, bro. Try to get some homies together, like, yo, hey, we're gonna recreate this scene and just make it our way. Yeah. Watch some of your favorite movies. I don't talk about all of that. Yeah, yeah bro. Tell me, it. it's fun too, and people get to see, it. like, damn, that's lit. We, we did a couple yeah. acting scenes on your uh, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny as fuck. And fucking, bro, it's just, yeah, it's just to keep it more lit too, like, and yeah. interesting and shit. 20 years or something. Yeah, because fucking sometimes it's just like, oh, damn, he's just dropping a song, all right, cool. Yeah. You know what I wanna do? Yeah, what? Not even with the idea for like, I like this one was for the day to day. So we just, like you said, how we sit in the, when I'm doing it, he yeah. asked why the sales just recording the whole exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Leave out of here, walk downstairs, record it. Get the car, record it. Yeah. Do this that third, record it. Everything record it. So then it's like, when you want to release like, some, like a snippet of some new music or something, you can oh, put a song that. over the video and you're just watching us go from a podcast. To get some food to the studio. Yeah. Get in and out the trucks with security guards and females. Yeah. Wow. That's what he was talking about earlier. Really. Just invest in the camera. Yeah. For yourself and just pay like your little brother. Somebody just said, of course. Yeah. Day to day. Like, come to the podcast. He could be right here, you know? And yeah. Homie could have been right here. Just... No, hit the club. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Studio time. You know? yeah, so but there's yeah. always an opportunity to do that for sure. But especially somebody is who fucks with you, I'm sure you got somebody around you who's like, yo, I fuck, I who believes in me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The I feel like the cameraman is like the most important guy on the team. Like that's the guy you gotta take care of. Absolutely. You feel me? Because he fucking documents the vibes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And like that's why Kanye took care of that. But see, I gotta girl. find out. I gotta find out who will be the cameraman. Yeah. Cause everybody yeah. wants to be the star, yeah. Ain't yeah. everybody wanna be the star. Everybody gonna pop it. What do you mean? Everybody's like gonna like pop their shit. Oh everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody gonna have it on. Everybody gonna wanna be in the camera, and I'm gonna want them in the camera, yeah. so it ain't even like I'm gonna want them to hold the camera. I want you in. You know what I'm saying? Fucking flip the camera. Yeah, around right, they right. right. do that shit all the time. Shit, so I, I might, I might hold that right. shit. You know what I'm saying? I might hold that shit. I got a bitch. I got a bitch around. I got. I think I got. I got a picture. I was in the office on my birthday. I was taking pictures of everybody because the cameraman taking pictures of me is my birthday. Yeah. My dog, my homeboy, no fresher than you. Yeah. I got the camera taking pictures of them. I'll show y'all. Anyway, it's it got to be in my archive because. I just had got this phone, so I knew they in this phone. They do the East Simple stuff. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. I yeah, just got a new phone that today, shit. too. <laughs> yeah. That's that shit fucked me up. Shit, you got, because you got to have the, your shit backed up. Yeah. Good thing I had my shit backed up. Well, shit, shit, October 14th, I was February. like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. you lucky. Yeah. You scold. Yeah, bro. Fucking, while, while you were searching for that photo, uh, we're going to put it up here on the thing. It'll pop up. Yeah. You know, eventually if it does. But fucking, um, I wanted to ask you guys, what is something that you could say to motivate somebody to be in a position where you guys are right now? I ain't gonna lie, one thing I can't say for that. No matter what, like no matter what goes on in the life, no matter how much money you get, how much money you lose, or whatever the case may be, you just gotta remain the same person. That's really the key to Stay true to self. To everything for real. Mm-hmm. Like if you get you some money, remain that same person. That money you had, you lose it all. Remain that same person. And when you get it right back, don't 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 act different. You know, just stay the same. Like, that's really the key to really everything for real. Consistency and staying the same. And that's really all the same shit. Because if you stay the same, that means you're consistent. Mm-hmm. You're consistently being the same person. So, copy. Motivation though. Motivation though. Motivation purposes. I know who motivated me. Like everybody, like my son motivated me, all that stuff, but my uncle, he the one who was like, what you gonna do today? I said, I don't know. He's like, you don't wanna fucking change? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm chilling. He's like, you wanna fucking change? I'm like, I got money, I'm good. He's like, yeah, but damn, you do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, try something new. You wanna change? You wanna be the same person? Stay true to yourself, but do other shit. You know what your morals is, what your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, let's say you never want to bowl it. Go bowl it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, do it. You won't want to change, you want to just stay right here in this situation. Okay, let's say you somebody, you, you make a hundred a year. You cool, you good. You don't want 300 years. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's something next. Keep going. Like y'all said, you got a cap right here, a cap right there, a cap right there. Okay. Wait till the same one. You know what I'm saying? Let's, shit. Let's say, let's say we're on the 20th. Let's say we're on the 25th floor. But that shit is. You don't want to be on the 40th. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to go higher. Wow. You're on the 25th floor. You don't want to match it. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. Change it up. That's, that should motivate you. Get out of your comfort zone, pretty much. Yeah. Basically, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's all right. Shit, it could, it could be anything. Some some dudes motivated by women. You might get a woman, she got you, but she motivated your ass to get out that league. You know what I'm saying? Like, change, you know, you know, trade a team, like you'll be with the big dogs. So for my instance, yeah. because you're trying to put on for her, but you didn't realize you know, upgraded yourself. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around with yourself in the whole other bracket that you don't even know. Yeah. Now you sit down and look at it, you're like, damn, I could have been there now. Uh, I did all this shit for this, this X, Y, and Z. Yeah. That shit for you. That's part of the journey when you look back, it's always a good time. That's, 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 that's the good part. Really that's the fun part about it. Because yeah. once you turn and look at what just happened, where you just came from, you appreciate it more. That should make you really want to get it too. Yeah. It keeps real. That's what's up. I ain't even going to lie since I'll be looking back. Like, Damn, by the time I'm out, I'll probably be in practice right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, I'm just real 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 so many people are asking like bro you don't you don't want to go back to football man bitch i wish i would this it ain't and it's not like i can't do it i know i could do it it's football i've been doing shit all my life but bitch i'm in a state of mind where i'm comfortable i'm straight with myself like Bitch, I ain't gotta break my leg no more, bitch, to go out there and make this money. Bitch, you know I got saying? this money, I'm sure. You gotta yell at me, we got the same age. Yeah. I ain't yeah. gotta go through all that, spit in the face, all that, cause you mad. Uh, you get yelled at for running laps, you 21, your coach 30. Feel me? Shit yeah. make you mad. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Bro, gas coach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think St. Thomas coach, brother. Nah, St. Thomas, they got a bag. They got a position. I'm talking about college. The coach got money. Yeah. The coach got a bag. But not, yeah. but not. Yeah, St. Thomas got a D1 crew. High school coaches, yeah. bro, they should invest in them, dog, because they be investing their own money and shit like yeah, that. They was so. cheating. Yeah. I'm glad they was cheating. What, St. Thomas? Yeah. Nah. 
course, man. Jason Taylor, D-line coach and shit. Oh, man, man, what the <laughs> man? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. My year when I was up there, we had Chris Carlin on the on the. That's what I'm saying. It's like, oh, I'm oh, with Danny. That's crazy. That's what I see. He's a receiver coach, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's actually Chris Carlin. Damn, it's cheap. We had yeah. Michael Irvin coming out there. We had. Who was Hayden? Bro, we had. Who was Hayden? Damn, right, we had. Oh, St. Thomas bro. produced yes, a lot of people. We had the fucking Ross on our coaching staff that year. We had Chris Carlin. Michael Irvin was coming around. And we had fucking Al Harris. Wow. Al Harris, our cornerback coach. Just think about it, I play wide receiver, I get coached by Michael Irving. And I'm over here at this other school. I'm gonna get coached drill. by my PE teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hate it like a fuck. See, you gotta line it up like this. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. See, when we get to see, you gotta line it up like this, that, and third. Over there, they get, you wanna go to the league, you gotta do this, that. Yeah. It's a whole different conversation. Yeah, it is. You tell me how you line up. That's what the opponent was to me. Do this. Nah, that's for real. Nah, that, boy, that boy Chris Carter for sure was on some different shit, though. That boy, I remember that boy was, on, was talking to all the receivers, and the receiver was out there like warming wow. up and shit like this. It, that man stopped looking at the receiver and put him on. He's like, what the fuck is y'all doing, man? Real goats don't warm up. We do not warm up. All we do is catch the ball. So we all we do is sit right here and be catching this ball. <laughs> he was not letting the boy warm up. like. I don't warm up, man. Like, we not doing this shit. Y'all not warming up. Y'all finna come out here and play. What we finna do is catch this ball for warm ups. Yeah. And y'all finna play. And them boys went out there and balled their ass out, too. I swear to God. I don't know how the fuck he did this shit like that. But yeah. That's how he did them boys. And we won states. Nice. Bra he's bragging again about <laughs> the same time we won the states. Yeah, we won. <laughs> Damn, bro. Uh, we had, uh, you know, Quan, Buddha's little brother. He nah, coach, so uh, he coaches I heard for of him. yeah. I've never seen him. Before. He's, like, I think he's the youngest basketball head coach in South Florida. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and um, he's coaching down That's at Booker T. Washington. That's it. Booker T. Yeah, they had a good ass fucking season. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, now they're all young and shit. But he, he was on the pod and he was saying that like how we owe our school at least one year to come coach. Like you know how they have Chris. Carter and all these fucking guys. Mm -hmm. Imagine they had, you know, Chosen Anderson and you cool. know what I'm saying, coming back and like to coach, coach and shit like that. That's How motivated it. those kids would be. That'd you know what I'm saying? I'm sure they would do it when they were a little older. You know Maybe, saying? yeah, yeah. They're still in the league and shit like that. But like, That's it. you know, yeah, I do that. Yeah, like uh, fucking, there was a couple people from South who actually went on to play college ball and D1 and shit. You know, you play college ball, like going out there. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Eagle Valley's here. Yeah, so <laughs> they might be concerned about like, yo, how do I rap? Fuck this football shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. You know, he was saying that we owe it one year to our communities and shit like that. Yeah. But fucking, um, yeah. Is there something that you want to uh, promote right now? I know you're promoting um, you. I you got, got sorry for the week. Yeah. yeah, I got a sorry for the week coming out. I'm not a day only though. What's that sorry That's for it. the It's like a little EP because okay. I. He said, I said, I've been made that song. Yeah. So it's like, everybody was like, all right. Because I do like, I did the little snippets. So it's like, okay, song sound good. What the video at? What the music at? What this and that? You know, did all these podcasts, interviews, all type of shit, walkthroughs, shows. What the music, what the people, what swear they got? That's sorry for the week. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sorry for the week. My bad, y'all. I was a little busy. Yeah. No, I should have made that bitch. My bad, y'all. I was a little busy. That's a hard one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, you should've, we're still in it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, so okay. I was a little busy. Yeah, yeah. fucking odd. Uh, I got, I got, that's true, that. But I'm gonna put out like two, three, two, three songs. Two, three songs, and like two videos. And then I'm gonna yeah. yeah. two, three songs, I need to be on Okay. See the name of the title, My Bad, y'all, I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm My bad, y'all. Nah, that's what's busy. up, bro. Fucking live out here in Wildcast Podcast. The yeah, boys, yeah. Nico Valley in here, DT. Wow, y'all want to see our like Instagrams that. and stuff where we can find oh, y'all? Oh, Nico.Valley on Instagram. That's yeah. all I got. Oh, I got Nico Valley uh, underscore on Twitter. Okay. I don't really be on it that much, yeah. though. But, you know, got Twitter's popping, bro. It's for real. Yeah. You mean from, X? X. That's X. what it's called. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? But see, when I click on Twitter, I just say, wow, shit, it's on me. Yeah, yeah, I don't got none of that. I just got Instagram. That's it. MBLRE underscore DT. Nico.Valley. Instagram. Yeah. 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 Y
that's gonna pop up down here for y'all boys, man. We appreciate y'all coming through, dog. Uh, so yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Fine. That's what's up. Fucking we was flowing, bro, for like an hour thirty. You know what I'm saying? Look, well, it's the picture right here. It's the picture. When I'm taking pictures of everybody in the club, I took the camera. Yo, you got a screenshot and send that to us so we can oh, put it on the pod. I took the camera. They was just taking pictures of me. I'm like, hey, boy, they yeah. asked me. It's my birthday with these niggas fresh in me. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely ready for a breakfast club. Definitely. You think so? fucking, fuck yeah. Right. Uh, Their interviews be like fucking three hours fucking long. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But it's, it was That's definitely true. a vibe, bro, having sure. you guys here. Wildcast podcast, yeah. Johnny Trombone, where you not a O in this motherfucking bitch. <laughs> you got 84, Mate Media, doing the production team. Make some noise for the fucking production team. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Stick. Yes, sir, Stick Duffles. Angel Bronson, Angel Bronson, the motherfucking Sweet. building. We're here with the boys. DT. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Never say it again, the, the, the label. Never betray loyalty. Never man. betray loyalty. DT, sure. the motherfucking building. Yeah, we, DT. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And we got Nico Valley, the big sure. dog. Sure. You know what I'm saying? We wow. definitely appreciate you guys coming through, spending time with us. Y'all could have been anywhere in the motherfucking world. And y'all came here putting in work. And y'all about to go to the studio, yeah, so nah, I'm really that's, that's, that's respectful, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sorry so, for the wait coming sorry for the way it's coming out. By the time uh, you watch yeah. this podcast, you know we're going to have sorry for the wait coming yeah. for you right now. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Where you going with all that ass? Got some gas to put in your bag. Next whip just might be a jack. Yeah. Way I whip it, probably drive a mad. Had a parked up, fucked up by the grass. Teed up, see me on the